In this video, I'm going to show you one of the best spacing concepts in Madden 23, able to space the field really, really well. We're in the Detroit Lions playbook, and we're going to be taking a look at the play uh, bench in this video. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit the sub button. Also, if you want to get my entire gun type offensive ebook, make sure you join the Patreon. It's only $10 to become a member, get you access to all of our Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks. So I'm going to show you kind of a really good spacing route combo today. What we're going to do is we are going to streak our left side receiver. We're going to drag our tight end. We're going to slant our right side receiver, and we're just going to block our running back. Um, so as you can see, this is what the route combo looks like. We're just going to motion snap this slant a few steps to the outside. And what you're going to see is this is an absolute killer of really anything they run. Um, this is going to do a really good job against man. It's also going to do a really good job uh, against zone. Now, this is also known as a sail or flood concept in Madden. Um, we're just trying to flood the right or the left side. Uh, and basically, why do I want to run this to the left? It's just because we're on the right or the left hash. You ideally want to run this play to the hash that you are on. So if you're on the right hash, for example, then the play would look something like this. So if we were on the right hash, we would run the same basic concept where we're trying to flood. You don't need that many plays in Madden. You just need the right plays. And if we're trying to flood the right side here, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to streak this guy. We're going to corner out, or this guy's already on a corner. We're going to uh, drag Michael Irvin. We're going to slant Tyreek Hill, and then you can put the running back on a table route or just go ahead and block the running back. Motion this guy out, and you see that this is basically the same concept to the right side. And what this does such a good job of, this is why I think tight is so good, is it really does a good job of providing the space for you to run crossing routes against man coverage, and then also um, your ability to attack zone coverage. So how does this play work against zone? Well, because we're on the short side of the field, you're going to see that this play is going to be pretty solid against zone to the side that we're flooding. So you'll see here the streak's going to clear out that quarter zone. You can throw that with an outside pass lead, and as you can see, um, the corner route's wide open. So now they have to do some stuff to stop it. Um, I'll show you cover three real quick. Cover three is going to be pretty much the same thing. There's really one thing they can do uh, to truly stop this concept, uh, and I'll show it to you in just a second. But as you can see, cover three, we're able to hit that corner route really well. Uh, cover two is probably the best like stock zone defense uh, to try to stop it, especially if they are dropping zones uh, around their cover two. Sometimes the vertical hook will match uh, that that corner route depending on the other adjustments they put on the field. Um, so you see right here. The other thing though is we can still freeform this up into the outside, and as you can see, that could put the ball in a real soft spot. So there's really only one proven method to stopping this concept, which I'll show to you, like I said, in just a second. But let's say that their user decides, hey, I've got to go guard it. So uh, if their user chooses to go to this to to this um, to this corner route and they're running like hard flats, for example, then what you're going to notice is the middle of the field becomes really tender, really open. And this is why this motion slant is so good. You'll see here, this motion, motion slant just gets in soft spots um, of the zone. And the drag should also be pulling zones as well. So, you know, you're going to have pretty straightforward, like, you should only have one person in the middle of the field, depending on how they're going to set their zones up. They're very unlikely they're going to have two people in the middle of the field. Um, if they do, if they don't have, if they don't have two people, uh, you see there the slant's wide open. I just got to get in the ball. Now this leads me to my next, my next thing, which is uh, actually two things. So the first one is actually match coverage. So I'll show you this against match coverage and how this breaks down match coverage. And then we'll talk about zone drop coverage, which I think is the best way to defend a concept like this. Um, so against match coverage, what you'll notice here is this route will light up against the match coverage. And a lot of times it'll be wide open. So um, this is also why I really like to run this away from the running back. Because when you run it away from the running back, it really does a much better job against match concepts. So if they're running match, you'll see your Michael Irvin will get that separation of the sideline, and we're just going to basically possession catch that and free form it away from the KO ability. Okay. If I was to run this to this side against match coverage, it doesn't really matter that I'm on the, the left hash mark. It's still going to be the same basic outcome, which is this 
corner route oftentimes is going to get guarded by this player, as you can see. So if you're going to run this to the right, I honestly just recommend flipping the play. Um, or, you know, another thing you could do is motion out the streak. So if they are playing, you know, match coverage to, and you want to flood this left side, one of the things that I would recommend is running the concept more so like this. And then what you'll notice here is now he out leverages him to the sideline a little bit better. Okay. So that is, that's how I would be match out of this. And then let's spend just a couple minutes on zone drops. And uh, guys, if you want to get the entire ebook on tight, make sure you're in the in the Patreon. It's only ten bucks to become a member, and the link in the description will get you everything. So make sure you sign up for that. Uh, but anyway, let's get back to this and talk about how we beat zone drops. So zone drops, there's really two ways to deal with zone drops. Uh, number one, have a route that goes deeper than the zone drops. Okay, and we're going to show you that in a minute. But number two, um, attack the zone drops where the zones aren't. And in this example. Uh, where the zones aren't is going to be in the middle of the field. So we're going to force the user to make a decision. Are you going to guard the drag right in there? And then therefore I could throw the slant. Or are you going to or are you going to guard the slant? In which case, oftentimes if I throw it fast enough, I will be able to throw the drag route. That's the basic thing. Uh, for this. So if they are running zone drops, typically they're going to be able to stop your, um, they're typically going to be able to stop your routes. But again, here's your slant. Look how open that is. So now the user has to kind of float to the right side at the snap. And when they do that little float technique to try to, uh, to try to go to the slant, then what's going to happen is your drag over the middle of the field has a decent shot. And this is the best way to stop this concept is this defense right here. Um, but a lot of times you can just throw this right in that little right in that window before it gets to the flat over the middle of the field. That is also why there is some value if they are running a double flat coverage against against you. There is some value um, to doing what I'm about to show you. So the value is taking the running back and putting him on the flat. And then now what you can do is now your drag route is going to basically have space right in that little pocket. Now, again, the three right guarded it because he wasn't going to slam, but he'd be open in that little pocket there. So um, that's one thing. Now, uh, the other thing that you can do is if they are running zone drops, I want to show you kind of a secret play. It's not really a secret, but a lot of people um, – just don't know when and why to use this play. This is this is drive corner out of tight, and um, you can use this to attack a double flat coverage. So the way you're going to use this to attack a double flat coverage, you're basically going to run it the same way. It's just now you have this real deep corner route. So you're going to streak uh, Tyree Kill. You're going to drag Owen Daniels and slant uh, Chris Olave. So you see here. Now what you'll see is that deep corner will run past 30 yards and you'll bomb the Mabel coverage over the top for a touchdown. So this is how you run the sale concept to perfection and of tight. It's one of the most critical concepts to have in your offense. And if you can master this concept, you're going to be really, really good at the game. Thanks for watching the video. Make sure to join the Patreon in the description. 10 bucks will get you access to all of our Man 23 offensive and defensive eBooks.